Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, The Daily Trader. It is September 9th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading or investing decisions. But I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. So Tesla, uh, Tesla up 75 cents, 0.10%, uh, uh, closed at 754.62. Post market, uh, we seem to be up by 26 cents. So what do we have here? So yesterday we had a volatile day. So we went down to 741. We went up to 764. Today, we have broken a little bit the resistance that we had in the upward channel that Tesla is in. And uh, but we closed inside of it. So longer wick at the top smaller work at the bottom so this means that uh, there was selling pressure during the day to push uh, the stock down the stock tried to go higher but was pushed down again we made the lower high today but still a higher low but right now we are right smack on the resistance do i want to adjust it no i think i'm going to keep it this way so we are right smack on the resistance and uh, we seem to be bouncing on 750 so we have 750 as a support we have 741 as a support so we seem to be very close to a 750 let's go see the one hour chart so 930 was right here we were continuing on this uh, upward trend here on that support so 930 went outside but was squashed down and then basically we just went sideways but look at the precision of this here so on the second hour, we have a wick that comes very close to 750. On the fourth hour, the same thing, very close to 750. Longer wick at the top again for these two candles. So this means selling pressure, selling pressure. And now we have a little bit of a buying pressure here. So one last ditch effort for the buyers. And now we finish the day with two red candles. And if I draw this resistance, very short term resistance, we have something like this. So in the very short term, we are going down to 750 unless we break this. If we look at stochastic, stochastic is also indicating uh, stochastic has plunged a lot. The stock has remained pretty high, but if we look at stochastic, phew, dropping a little bit here. Also uh, MACD crossing over here. I think we might retest 750 tomorrow. Uh, are we going to stay above 750? That's uh, the big question. Let's go back to the daily chart. We are very close to this resistance here. I think it's not impossible that we go back to 741. But when we look at the daily chart, on the daily chart, stochastic is still super high at 91. Stochastic still super high. Everything is still uh, super good. So weakness on the one hour chart so very short term on the hourly chart i think we are heading back to 750 but then from the daily chart there's no indication of any weakness so it's not impossible that we go down to 741 tomorrow and then come up a little bit i think 741 is a very sure support that we should not break well, thank you very much for watching thank you for liking subscribing commenting did i miss one i'm not sure you can become a member for five bucks a month you can check that out we have trading view affiliate link i'm going to wish you a great evening we are going to talk tomorrow and i'm going to tell you à la prochaine